And then just the other part is Ryan ha had it seemed like some adjustments, obviously a slow start in this one. I know she scored 36 in the playoff opener last year. So what was different about this one and what were you guys able to do to get her more involved second half? Their physicality, I think, really um, bothered us as a, as a whole. Um, it dictated what we did, um, obviously, on the on the defensive end too. So they were able to get out and transition and get some easy, easy opportunities and easy looks. So I think their physicality really bothered us. We have to, we have to make that adjustment and understand it as playoff basketball um, and to, to expect it to be like this. Uh, it, you had mentioned uh, before the game how much you like Leonie Fiebisch's game. Just yeah. wondering what the plan was for her coming into tonight and just what she did that gave you guys so many problems. I thought she did a really good job of shooting the ball. She shot the ball really well. Um, a lot of those opportunities um, came in transition and came from us being in scramble mode um, because we didn't do a great job of keeping keeping people in front of us so they were able to move the ball well, which is exactly what New York does. Um, so we have to do a better job of keeping our pressure on them, um, understanding that we have to return the physicality, the same physicality that they get, gave to us, we have to be able to give to them to slow that down. And just defensively then, I mean, what did she bring to New York's lineup? Is that some of the added physicality that you're talking about too? Oh, 100, 100%. Um, her length, her physicality, her ability to be able to to, to blow things up and stay in, a, stay, stay in the play so you can't run things smoothly. Um, I thought that that was all things that she brought in the starting lineup. Has it? Just to touch on being able to get Zerny Carlu her first playoff minutes, you know, mm -hmm. what that meant and, you know, um, how, uh, how significant it was to be able to share that moment with her, be able to send her into a playoff game. Um, she's been in this um, been in this type of environment. She played on the Niger Nigerian national team um, for the Olympics. So she's been in this type of environment before. It's just on a different stage. Coach, uh Nas, she uh, was that the same situation as Tina. I mean, she had a great first half. She had a lot of minutes, and um, she had like four minutes in the second half. Did you pull her because of it being down twenty? Well, I, I mean, I pretty much pulled everybody. <laughs> I pulled everybody um, in that in that second half. In the first half, we went, you know, we went with our starters um, and how they were playing and how we needed to play. But I pretty much pulled everybody in the second half. Hi, Coach. So pregame, we were talking a lot about uh, how important three-pointers were going to be. Yep. Um, and you, you know, they weren't shooting great, a uh, little bit under 20% uh, from the three. You know, you're talking about the physicality. What's going to be kind of going into Tuesday's game? Uh, is it going to be more focused on, you know, wanting to get those shots off or more just uh, going against the, the strong defense and the You're physicality? saying in terms of us? Yes. Yeah, we, um, you know, before we can get to shots and different things like that, I think it has to be our, our mindset has to change in terms of what to expect, you know what I mean, going into going into a playoff games. Um, you know, when you're not able to run your things smoothly, you know, it affects how many shots you're going to be able to get off or the kind of shots that you're going to get off. Like today we got to um, – held the ball a lot and then didn't get shots off until five, four, three, two, one, a lot of bombs and stuff like that. So um, I think part of that is our pace. We have to do a much better job um, in a half court with our, with our pace, getting to spots, running off things hard and different things like that. But Thank kudos you. to New York. They did a good job. Hey, Coach. Uh, it seems like you guys had, uh, had an easier time slowing down Sabrina uh, in the last game that you guys did tonight. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything that you're planning to, to change to slow her down again in the next game? Yeah, we just got to do a better job of pressuring, getting up and making her um, play 90 feet. Uh, like, we can do that. I think we have the personnel to be able to do that. And so we have to, we have to the same way that they did to, to Jordan from the start of the game, they guarded her at 90 feet. We have to do the same thing. Good. We're going to go one to Zoom. Megan, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Coach. Um, you always talk about uh, with us the little things with the team and things like that, and it felt like today the little things kind of stacked up. Yeah. Um, did you talk about that with the team in the post game, or I'm just curious about your thoughts there? I mean, that was something that we talked pregame about, um, the being able to do the little things and execute the little things. You, you know, when you're in a playoff game, it's all about being intentional, um, and you have to focus on and hone in on the details of things. Um, and so it's something that we'll reiterate. And I think, you know, if we if we can do that, we don't have any doubt that we can we can come out with a with a win on on Tuesday. But we gotta we gotta definitely clean those things up. But we're we're still a confident bunch. Um, we're still positive. 
They punched us in the mouth. That's exactly what they were supposed to do. They're in their home. They're supposed to come out like that. Now we have to learn how to respond to it. Got it? Thank you. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome.